It's really nice. It's not my swollen face. It's not my swollen face. Let me finish my breakfast and then um, look at my um, schedules and see what I'm doing today. I think today's meant to be rest day because I got back from Agelu um, yesterday and I'm still shattered. I'm trying to recover. But yeah. Let me eat. Oh my gosh. Why? Why now? <laughs> Nigeria. Why? Hi, Happy New Year guys, Happy New Year. Thank you Lord, Happy New Year. And welcome to my channel. If you are visiting for the first time, you are also welcome. As you can see from the title, this is a little chit chat with me video, highlighting some experiences that I had in Nigeria. It's not gonna be a long video. Um, let's start with getting my hair done. I had my birthday in Nigeria and I had booked my appointment before I came with a particular hairdresser. I was so looking forward to it. Like if you look at my um, travel vlog, you'd realize that my hair was not done. I purposely did not get my hair done because I was looking forward to this woman, you know, beautifying me. And <laughs> the morning of my birthday, so my plan was to get it done in the morning because I wasn't going out until later on in the afternoon. So I booked my appointment for 9, nine o'clock a.m. Got to the lady's place for her not to be there. Why are you not in your shop? Like, why are you not in your shop? What's happened? You told me nine o'clock. There's evidence there. Like, we, we're communicating to make sure it's my birthday this day. I want to make sure my hair is done at this time. Is it possible? If it's not, let me know. Uh, yes, of course, it's okay. It's okay, you know, you're chatting, you, you like clients. It's okay, we can do your hair. Anywho, got to the shop and met her workers. And her workers told me the lovely lady is not feeling well and she's not in shop today, which means for me, I can't get my hair done. I was really upset, I'm not gonna lie. I was really, really upset. So I had to find an alternative. Yeah. <laughs> Another highlight for me was Agelu. Agil is a beautiful place. I just wished it could have public toilet or public bathroom or a hotel f newly built for people coming from all over the world that they could stay in. But I know what Agil is like from when I went in 2018. So I came prepared this time around. I brought my outdoor tent, I brought my own bucket, I brought my bin bag, brought my tissue everything I could think of that I needed for that trip, I made sure I packed it and it worked. It worked. I really wished I um, captured how I was taking my shower because I felt it would help other people as well. Um, the whole journey was beautiful. I just wished it had a, a convenient space for people traveling in. And if I wanted to wee as well, I had to go into the bushes and sometimes it's not as pleasant in terms of smell because someone has pooped and yeah kobojumu <laughs> <laughs> sick so I don't know if it's the environment I don't know if I caught something I couldn't put my finger on what was wrong with me my system felt like it was gonna shut down I was aching my cough was not normal I'm gonna insert a clip now actually <coughs> <coughs>
I was told to have Pizza Cola and Tom Tom. Anymore? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that was that. What else? Oh, can you see how sleek this is? Um, health and safety, it's done very well. You can plug in something and not feel like it's going to blow in your face. Why have I reported a kettle, the plug of it? Why have I reported it to the hotel and they're telling me we are getting someone to come and fix it right away? Nobody ever turned up. I've changed my room four different times, guys, for four different reasons. Um, but this particular one, I ended up staying throughout my stay. Let me not say too much, but I wasn't happy. <laughs> I was not happy. The initial hotel I lodged at gave me UK standards. So I guess if you want to experience home away from home, I mean, customer service, you need to pay a bit more. Another highlight would be Taylor. He was so confident. He would tell you, yes, Moliron, I'm going to get it done for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. This man is all talks. We gave him a particular date and we went to go and collect our garment. And he told us he could do it. We got there and this man had not sewn the garment. He was then rushing, rushing to do things, rushing to do things. And at the end of it all, the garment wasn't the style that I asked for. But yeah, um, it's all past now. I just thought I need to highlight some stuff for this video. Um, what else? I was eating sweet potato and egg for breakfast every single day without fail. Sweet potato and egg, yam and egg. Sweet potato and egg, yam and egg. My fave has to be sweet potato and egg. It is delicious. Ooh, thinking about it, I'm just like, mm, can you post it to me? <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite um, breakfast. Um, Another experience, I had called the reception or um, the kitchen that I wanted a uh, hot Milo. And I remember the man saying to me on the phone, if you want something, is this price? And I'm like, yeah, I want it. Yes, you have to pay more. Yeah, I want it. Madam, it's more money for that one that you want. And I just said to him, I will pay for the difference. That is what I want. Then they delivered my hot chocolate and they want me to make it. Maybe that's how they do things in Nigeria, but I preferred my hot chocolate made for me. And if I didn't want it made for me, I would tell you, could you make sure you deliver it without it being made? And when he brought just the, the packet and a cup, I was confused. I'm like, what do I do now? You want me to boil water with a socket that's about to blow off like explain it to me please but yeah enough of me babbling because i did say i don't want to make this video too long but in a nutshell nigeria um was fun you have to prepare yourself before you go you just can't go like i'm going on holiday you have to prepare i thought i was smashing my nigeria my yoruba language and I'm like, e kaso mao she mule rakara, e kaso mao she nikini o e kaso sa. I would try my best to speak Yoruba, and it was not working. You're not from here. Where are you from? And I'm just like, I'm from Nigeria. No, you don't live here. I'm like, I'm from Ireland. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's end the video now. I'm going to say too much. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you um, enjoyed it. <laughs> also, if you have any recommendations for me, why am I still laughing? If you have any recommendations for me um, in regards to uh, a nice hotel I could lodge at 
in the mainland. I mean, I do have one already, which is one of my top ones so far. But if you have any other recommendations, do let me know in the comment section and I will look it up and see if it's somewhere I would love to go to when next I come to Nigeria. But yeah. Oh, Lua, Mongori, okay, you are. Oh, Lua, Mongori, okay, you are. And Mumingo, get lucky to suck a little, yeah.